Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Realms of the Haunting. And when last we left off, Adam Randall had stepped through a secret door concealed in a bookcase, and has descended down into a structure that seems far older than the uh, building that it is beneath. To what end? We don't know. Maybe there are answers here that Adam is seeking. There certainly appear to be otherworldly enemies that Adam Randall seems to have shrugged off the existence of. There are a few things to note before we move on. I activates the uh, inventory quickly. I do remember vaguely that um, there was one, a function for that, but uh, didn't remember exactly what it was until this point. Also, the reason why we can't access all these guns easily is because the order here is the order in which they are on the uh, numbers to determine which weapons you draw. One is always your fists, but right now two is the magazine for the Colt 45. We'll swap these round so that two is the pistol, three is the shotgun, four will be the sword, and five will be the shield that currently has no use. By doing that, it automatically switches you over to the um, actual uh, fists, but we're going to switch to the shotgun right now because we pretty much need it. Before we actually move on, we actually want to look at the uh, map we have here. Sketch of a door. Ah, that's the wrong one. I believe, yes, the map of the mausoleum. We are actually currently, I do believe, here. We want to head to one particular area. We don't want to head to there just yet. I believe we want to head to a certain location. We want to head down to here, actually. Heading to here is actually quite important. So actually, let's just sort of beeline to that direction right now. Let's go. And for that, we want to head into here. Into this small area. It's very illuminated, we pretty much don't need the torch. And there are a few things of note. Lever. Still works. I'm pretty surprised that Adam knows that they work from this distance, but then again, not much really should surprise me about uh, Adam Randall and his ability to determine things from distance anymore. Sarcophagus. Cold touch. Let's just ignore Adam that um, there's some sort of pulsing energy on the sarcophagus, shall we? Yep, I think that's a good plan. We'll ignore that. There is, however, this secret door. The fact that you can just manipulate it, pretty much... It is not open for very long, is it? Let's head in. And here is another door. The metal's still good. That surprises me. Is that the first thing that's genuinely surprised you in this whole thing, Adam? That the metal's good? Let's open it. Here's an enemy! There we go. One enemy down. That enemy can actually climb stairs. Let's just get rid of that corpse, shall we? And move on. Opening the door here. Is there another enemy? I don't think there actually is. Pretty sure that was the only enemy. And here is a strange room. With lots of writing on it. Just want to take a moment to read that there. Hmm. Yep, let's definitely open this. What's that spiel? What's all this about? Who knows, Adam? Who knows? Let's go in. There are a few things here. There are some uh, cartridges for the shotgun. And an enemy. Hello. The shotgun does a much better job at dealing with the enemies than the, um, the pistol does here. We'll grab these. This one's a little too far away. You can actually uh, click things uh, through the image of your weapon, which I quite like. That's a nice touch. Let's go, uh, let's move on, shall we? And go in a different direction. Someone's coat of arms, maybe. Possibly. There is this area here that we could go down. Don't exactly remember where it leads to. Let's find out. Ah, I think I might want the pistol here. Nope, this is definitely the area which I was uh, wanting to find. This strange, um, shimmering barrier. Why anyone would want to step through a strange shimmering barrier, I don't know. But Adam's going to anyway. This is weird. What on earth is this all about? Only now are you asking these questions, Adam. Only now. Depiction of a knight. No name. Indeed. Here is a very important room in this game. Depiction of a knight. No name. And there is a very important chair. Impressive. Very impressive. 
But who'd sit here in the middle of a dungeon? I've no idea. You're about to sit there, actually, Adam. I've no idea why to this day, but you will. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I will also send wild beast am beasts amongst you. Yeah, this is a chair that you can actually sit on. Why anyone would want to sit on this chair, I don't know. But you know what? Adam's about to sit on it. This may be the worst decision that he's made so far. And you're about to find out just why. Yeah, on the top ten list of silly things that you've done so far, Adam, that's definitely on number one. Also, you can click it again. Hell, you won't get me sat on that again. No, no you won't. In fact, I'm very curious as to why you sat on it at all, Adam. Why did you sit on this chair? Look at this chair, Adam. This is not a comfortable ergonomic chair. And yet you sat on it. And yet you sitting on it is in fact one of the most important decisions that you have ever made in the whole game. And it actually brings up a conversation topic. Adam's brands. Look at my hands. The marks look like burns. But they don't hurt. I can't understand. No, I don't understand why you sat there either, Adam. But there you go. Also, there is the conversation of, um, Adam's father. Let's have a little bit of a conversation about that. My father. Kept here by... by some evil. I have to find a way to free him from this place. The stone he wears around his neck. He said it was his misery. The thing that kept him here. The source of the evil in this place. And its essence is all around. Maybe the stone is only part of a greater evil. That may be the case. Then again, you are pretty much taking this all as it is, without any questioning whatsoever. Also, why did you sit on that chair? But enough about sitting on that chair. It's actually very important that you did. Because if you hadn't sat on that chair, Pretty much things do not go the way you want them to. That is the whole purpose of that little area. You go there to sit on a chair, and that's pretty much it. Also, there is this room here. This room here doesn't have a whole lot in it, but we're going to have a look anyway. We're going to have a very careful look. Ah, this room. This room pretty much just has some ammunition in it, which is good. Ammunition is generally good. 
we'll take that and uh, we'll also have a look and uh, see if there's any more. Yes, there is. There is another one there. Is there any more ammunition? The answer is yes, there is. Is there any more ammunition? Yes. Yes, there is. There is, in fact, a lot of ammunition here. And we are going to take all of it. Because ammunition is pretty useful. There is nothing else in here. So, let's just leave. And no enemies. That's nice and reassuring. And there's nothing in that room. There's probably something down here. In fact, we could check the map. The map would pretty much tell us exactly what might be down here. To a lesser extent. We are currently, I do believe, in here. So, there is, uh, that area here, there's, we've been in that room there. Hmm. And there's this area here, ooh, is there a door there that we haven't seen? Perhaps there's a door there that we haven't seen. Hmm. Maybe we want to have a look back there and see if we can find that door. Let's have a look back there quickly, see if we can find that door have a look. Ah, this area leads back down to here, so we don't want to go down there just yet. We don't want to go down there just yet. We'll go back here, though, because apparently there is a door that we have completely missed. Then again, the entrance might not actually be on this side. Yeah, I don't think the entrance is on this side if there is a door. So we can't actually go that way just yet. We need to actually explore further in this area after doing that terrible, terrible decision, Adam. So, we could head back the way we came. Alternatively, we could uh, head into here. These enemies actually won't do anything to harm us. Not at the moment. Not at the moment. There's also this here. This isn't going to move in a hurry. No, it is not. This isn't going to move in a hurry. It definitely is not. That, in fact, is not going to move at all. Also, here is a place you really don't want to go down. Won't budge. Lock. Because we need a key. We actually need a key before we can actually do anything that. Also, you did not want to go into here just yet. You did not want to go into here just yet at all. It in fact has hurt us, but has given us a little bit of healing. And now we're in a pretty peculiar area. Let's arm ourselves with the gun just in case. Here is an enemy. We could probably use the sword though. There we go. That's one down. You'll notice that what we picked up there was a slightly better healing potion. There's another enemy. Hello! How are you? There's another one, though. Hello! Is there another one? Gotta be careful here. The metal in these chains is untarnished. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. Gotta be very careful. There's another heating potion. Is there another one? I thought that was another one. Clearly, I am mistaken. You don't want to go down into that uh, other area, it would seem. Or rather, you don't want to go to that door. That door leads to here. Here is not good. The metal in these chains is untarnished. You know, there aren't actually any chains there, Adam. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be doing very much. There we go. There we go. We're now in here. Which has shotgun cartridges. Cartridges. For a shotgun. Excellent. What else does it have? Probably not a lot. Nope, that would seem to be what we did this for. Let's climb up here. And... Aha! There's the secret that I was talking about. Or rather, the alternate entrance. So, don't try and go through that door. It's not a good idea. But we tried anyway. So we'll head through here now. Now, we can't go through that door, because there's just a pit. So yeah, that's what happened. We fell down a pit. There's nothing here. There are enemies here. We can't attack them. Not just yet, anyway. And we've been just through this door, so really there's not a lot that we can do just in this little area. Oh yeah, remember when I said there were stairs? I lied. You can't actually go up those stairs. You have to go through this area. So, let's go back through this area. And through here. And through here. Now, we actually want to do something in this area next. 
there is an area, there is something we do want to do. We need to just scroll around the map. We are back here. There's a door here. There's a door there. We actually want to go up to this area now, which is this door. This area is actually pretty important. In this area, we'll probably have more enemies, so let's get this shotgun ready just in case. Any enemies? Hello! I actually don't need the shotgun for you. I thought it might be a more dangerous enemy. You just patrolling? But where did you go? There you went. Oh, it's this area. Yes, I know this area. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello! You've seen me. How are you? <coughs> Not well. Not now. <laughs> oh! One of them's actually snuck up on me. Very sneaky of you. There's a lot of enemies. Gotta be very careful. We don't want one to sneak up around behind us. You'll notice that they don't make any noise when they move these enemies. And that's how they are sneaky. There's an enemy to our right. Oh, 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 oh. Well done. That's the downside of using the sword. You have to get very close. But, ammo conservation is a little important. It's not super important. Hello again. It's not super important, but it does serve a purpose. Also, what's down here? Nothing. There is a lot of ammunition in this area, if memory serves. A lot of ammunition. You just need to know where to find it. Also, there's this area. Now, getting into here, I found was a little... Ah, uh, yes. This uh, actually involves you having to do a little bit of quick movement. That opens this door here. Hello? Do you hear that heartbeat? Yeah, that heartbeat's pretty loud. Gonna shut the door now. I'm expecting there to be a problem with taking this key. Yup. There we go. Hello. There is some ammunition here too. We do want that. Let's go grab it, shall we? Carefully. We don't want to, uh... We don't want basically to focus too much on grabbing the ammunition, just in case uh, something terrible happens, like for instance uh, an enemy appearing out of nowhere and us getting basically sliced to pieces. There is a lot of ammunition in here, if memory serves. A lot of ammunition in this actual room, which uh, on the one hand pretty much flies in the face of my uh, desire to um, conserve ammunition, but the pistol and the shotgun do have an advantage in that they fire very quickly. And the fact that they fire very quickly is very useful, especially with um, the other weapons you get later that actually fire a lot slower. I don't remember if there's actually any ammunition in here. Let's have a look. Well, I can't see it if it's there. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Oh, this heartbeat is actually quite loud. It's loud for a reason, because these enemies are here. Hello! Your presence violates the fact as it is written as it was, so shall it be for all eternity. An interesting note, that is a different sound effect there. Or rather, a different voice line completely. Compared to the um, version I played, that actually didn't sound like that at all. It didn't sound half as robotic when I first played it. Anyway, let's get rid of these. There we go. Yeah, that's a completely different line. That is a totally different line. We actually want to go into this area next, this massive room here. There we go. I think that key is very important for, um, basically for getting into that uh, locked area. But there's still a few more things we want to do. Also, there's some jumping we're going to want to do here soon. We are definitely going to want to do some jumping puzzles. But not just yet, I think. Need to go find some uh, ammunition or yep here we go ammunition why there's all this ammunition in here i don't know it sort of says something about who's actually uh been here of late is there any ammunition in here the only way to find out would be to jump and have a look let's see i don't think there is pretty sure there isn't but uh, there's some there's some ammunition a single clip and if you look on the other side there is another clip. Excellent. So, 
when we come back, folks, I think we might do some jumping to get sort of into that area there. I do believe it is worth it. I do believe it's worth getting up there. So, that'll be next time, folks. And I'll catch you then, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Really, Adam? Why did you sit on that chair? Like, of all the chairs you could have sat on, there were plenty of chairs back up in the actual house that you could have sat down on, but no, you pick the super evil looking one. Now with 10,000% Bernie evil. I mean, really, there was 10,000% more burning evil than you suspected there, Adam. And I suspect that you suspected there was quite a bit, and yet you still sat there. Ah, oh, you just can't help some protagonists, can you? Just too curious for their own good. Later.